Hello and welcome to the Long Island Weather Update. March 14th, a very warm day across the area uh, today. Um, yeah, you're going to hear those planes because, you know, they're pounding us again here in Mineola. You know, it's funny. I can be in Rockville Center and it's much quieter there even though we're a lot closer to the airport. But that's just the way it goes here in the middle of the island. Uh, so you can see here that uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, you have some pretty hefty clouds coming in and this is all part of a frontal system that's going to bring us a very slight chance of showers tomorrow. The models keep bringing the chances of showers down. Uh, but let's first talk about today's weather because it was really, really warm out there. And I just want to briefly go over the graphics that I kind of posted earlier. Um, you can see temperatures. This kind of shows what it was like in Nassau County. You can see mid-70s for uh, much of the North Shore and uh, low to mid-70s, much of the North Shore. Uh, and then as you head toward the South Shore, uh, you can see, while well, we were roasting in the low to mid-70s here in the middle of the island. Uh, if you were in um, Rockville Center, you were in the 60s, uh, and low 60s, actually, as you headed out toward Wontaw. Um, you can see the sea breeze clearly right on the water, only in the 50s. Um, and further out east, uh, you can see here uh, that uh, temperatures were in the also middle of the island, up to the mid-70s in some of these areas here in the North Shore. Um on parts of the North Shore, however, some areas got like a sound breeze. Lloyd Neck was 53, so if you're right on the water, um, you maybe got a little bit a little bit cooler. Uh, but best breezes were on the South Shore, of course, mid 50s on the Barrier Islands and s low to mid 60s um, on the South Shore. There, Islip, uh, Patchogue, those areas getting a nice break. This was in the early afternoon. Meanwhile, there was actually more of a sea breeze in Jersey uh, because Jersey. Uh, Actually, um, uh, was actually a little cooler. I mean, uh, low fi actually had a low 50s on their barrier island beaches. And then um, parts like Beachwood was only 55. Uh, downtown Tom's River was 65. So, and then parts of Brick were also in the 60s and 50s. So it was very interesting looking at this. This was really kind of shows the extremes here. So if you're right along the water in Jersey, 55. But if you're inland west of the parkway, Dealing with mid seventies, roasted with the mid seventies. So, yeah, kind of interesting uh, to show you that uh, data right there um, from the day. So let's, uh, well, we're gonna talk about that later. Let's go to the uh, looking at our current conditions, our highs across the area today. Uh, right now, temperatures have dropped. Finally, it's cooled off in the middle of the island. We're down in the mid fifties. Sea breeze finally got here. Um, upper forties on the south, uh, right on the beach. So generally low low fifties across Long Island right now. And some 40s, actually, out further out east um, toward the city. It's even cooled down at LaGuardia, down to 55. Um, so the sea breeze has made its way in, even into Tom's River, 56. Even western parts of Tom's River, mid-50s. Uh, so it's all cooled off now. But uh, let's go look at the highs because uh, this is pretty interesting here. So um, a lot of uh, Long Island got up to the 67 at Islip. Didn't quite make it to 70 at Islip. It's like 68 at, at uh, Farmingdale. Um, but if you're further north, you're 71 in Ridge. Um, north Shore was low 70, 73 in Carl Place. Um, but if you were on the South Shore, uh, you were a lot cooler for highs. North Massapequa got to 69, but uh, let's get some more observations from... There aren't any from over here, really. Um but it is, it is showing that even earlier on, some of the areas on the south shore, did, I don't know, we're not seeing all the really very little, few observations here. It did get up to 69 in Hewlett. So if you were in the south shore, you probably had an early high somewhere in the mid-60s uh, before it dropped when the sea breeze came in. Uh, right on the beach, um, it, only, it was only in the 50s. Um, going toward the city, you can see, again, low to mid-70s. And this is kind of interesting looking at Jersey here again. Very interesting here. If you were in Seaside Park, only 57. Uh, but if you were in t uh, downtown Tom's River, 69. Miller Air Park got up to 73. Uh, quite warm in some other areas, too. And the further inland you go in the Pine Barrens, as we go lake, got up to 77 and 80 in Egg Harbor City. Uh, that's that's pretty warm. <laughs> so depending on where you were, it's a big variation in temperature with the sea breeze. It's always very hard to predict. As far as the lows in the morning go, it did cool down to the mid-30s in, in a lot of areas, except for the city. Um, which I had mid 40s. Uh, let's look at our climate data for today. And you see they have a little graphic of the max temperatures. I mean, I could do that too. Um, there are different um, 
backgrounds I noticed they use here, I think, on the on this. I don't know. I'm using this this background. I noticed the weather service is using a darker background. I don't know how to get that background, uh, change the background on this. I don't know how to do it. Uh, so uh, maybe there is a way. I don't know how. But I, I like this background because it kind of shows all the towns well and the roads and everything. So uh, anyway, let's go to this. Um, you can see that's their max observed temperatures. That's their map right there that they have. They put together. But let's go here and look at the climate statistics for today. Islip made it to 68, uh, and uh, the low is 38. The high was 21 degrees above normal. The low is 7 degrees above normal. That puts us 14 degrees above normal for the day. Um, and uh, Central Park made it to 74. Uh, that's 25 degrees above normal for the high and 18 degrees above normal for the day. Um, JFK Airport, 66. They're on the south shore, so they had the sea breeze. Uh, that's still a high of 18. That high was 18 degrees above normal. Uh, LaGuardia made it up to 72. That's a whopping 23 degrees above normal for the high. Really insane, uh, just insane warmth um, that we've had um, th today. Uh, but I don't know if there were any records broken today. Um, the Weather Service hasn't put, mentioned uh, any records broken. Let's look at Newark. 75 at Newark. That's 25 degrees above normal. So New Jersey, obviously, the highest reading there. It's insane. 75 degrees above normal. And just for fun, let's go look, look at the preliminary monthly data uh, just for fun and look at Newark. Uh, and they're running 9.1 degrees above normal. So the sites are closing in on almost 10 degrees above normal uh, for the first part. That's just unheard of. That's just crazy. Uh, crazy kind of anomalies that we're talking about here. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about this weather system now that we've talked about the warmth today. Uh, I will, you know, we'll just go look at Wonder ground for a minute here under map and uh show you uh some some stations and show you when the sea breeze came through actually we'll first start with carl place all right carl place not showing up nothing in carl place showing up i will right, show you the miniola observation here so we'll show you when that sea breeze came through i'm kind of curious just looking at the graphs here just something i like to do and you can kind of sort of see when it came through mid 70s and you can see how it started dropping as we got towards 6 o'clock. All right. Sea breeze was probably stronger uh, further out in. Let's go to North North Belmore. I'm sure they had a, ni a much nicer, stronger sea breeze than we did. Um, yeah, so they peaked into the low 70s, uh, but then they dropped pretty quickly toward the afternoon. So you can pair and kind of contrast how the sea breeze affected certain sites. Um, and, of course, strongest along the water. So if we're in Babylon, uh, so we'll go to Babylon here. Probably didn't make it out of the low 60s. Let's see. Uh, so Mid-60s. They did reach the mid-60s, though, and they stayed there. But then it started dropping right around 3 o'clock there. Yep, you could see that drop right there. Um, right on the water. If you were right on the water, here's something very interesting. Though. If you were right on the water, though, probably a big difference here. Let's see what it was like right on the bay. If we can get these to load, site starts slowing down, then it doesn't want to load. That's usually what happens once I start using it. So, well, you don't want to load. Yeah, error. Oh, wait, it's finally loading. Okay, so, uh, yeah, they only made it to right around 60 right on there. So that's a difference. Like, literally, if right on the water, much, much cooler uh, situation. Um you know, uh, much much cooler. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go back to the map. We'll look at a few other sites here. I can use this actually. Browse around. Let's uh, look at Tom's River. Let's just see what it was like in Tom's River. Downtown Tom's River. Oh, it's not going to work. Uh, oh, here we go. So uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, there's something with their site. Uh, the site is buggy. Of course, I pick one that's not working right. Let's uh, let's pick Beechwood here. All right, so they made it up to sixty-eight. I don't know. It looks like they had an outage there or something going on. Ugh, here's the New Jersey stations always giving me issues. Uh, I just want to get one in Tom's River. Let's see this one. Oh, this, this is the last one I'm going to try here. 
Oh, it didn't hit 81. That's not right at all. Why are the Jersey stations always messed up? Uh, why? 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 I just wanted to show the sea breeze. Right, I'm going to try one more, and that's it. If this one don't work, that's it. Let's try this one. All right, this one looks like it's working properly. Wow. It really radiated last night. Look at how cold it got. And then it soared up to 68. And then it dropped. Um, it dropped when that sea breeze came through. You can see that sea breeze drop. But, uh, yeah, very interesting. to. I always like looking at the local weather uh, patterns. You know, the last thing I want to look at before we talk about uh, the, we the, uh, the weather forecast Let's just go and look at the observation for Atlantic City. I'm just curious if anyone broke any records today. 75. I don't think anyone broke any records. Anyone? Anyone at all? Wow. Delaware. Now, Philadelphia got up to 77. But there, no, no records broken. I'm kind of surprised. It got close. Well, anyway, let's talk about the weather system that we have coming up, coming our way. And you can see a lot of heavy rain and thunderstorms that are up in the Great Lakes and then into parts of uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, um, and some severe. Um, if we go to the Storm Prediction Center, you'll see they've got a, uh, actually they've got uh, some reports of tornadoes. They've got a bunch of severe weather going on here. Um, this is, again, your Weather Prediction Center. You can see this frontal system here. That's moving through. If we go to the Weather and Hazards map and pull this out, You'll see tornado watches in effect for a number of severe thunderstorm warnings, a number of them. Uh, tornado watches all throughout, into the, uh, and then severe thunderstorm watches as well. Uh, I don't see any active tornado warnings, but there were some. It said that there were eight reported tornadoes uh, on the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, again, we're only in March, and it's just crazy. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Got a little messed up. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Um, you can see it had eight, eight reported tornadoes right there. Eight reported tornadoes, 84 reports of wind, and 422 reports of hail. Um, uh, quite impressive. Yeah, that's, that's just the full-size chart here. I wish they would have, like, a map. I believe they have a map you can overload. Maybe storm reports. Here we go. It's the storm reports. So here we go. Storm reports. Here's your storm reports map, and you can see where the tornadoes were reported. It looks like some in Ohio. Parts of Illinois, got a lot of uh, blue, that's the wind reports, and the green are the hail reports, even a few of those in Pennsylvania. So, yeah, this is a pretty impressive line of thunderstorms, which isn't surprising when you consider the kind of air mass that these storms have formed in. And, again, got up to the 70s, uh, very warm air mass. And on the other side, somewhat cooler air uh, of this front that's going to be heading our way. But it doesn't look like we're going to see any of the severe weather uh, that uh, other areas are seeing. Uh, from this front. Um, if we go back to the Storm Prediction Center, which I closed. Uh, let's go to the Storm Prediction Center. Um, we'll go into tomorrow and see what day two has. Um, and they they don't have us, and it's all, it's all off to the south. So, um, but these storms do look pretty impressive on the radar. Um, I'll play this along, and I'll show you. Um, Looks like it came through St. Louis. Yeah, these look at these purples. I mean, that's hail right there. Now, these are some nasty storms. But it's all going to kind of go off to the south. Um, see, look, at they got some bowing here. Uh, look at these storms. These storms look nasty, too. These look like the kind that could produce tornado. They have that look. Uh, no warnings yet, but uh, definitely uh, probably a lot of lightning going on here as well. We'll go and look at the lightning map as well. Yeah, these are pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of lightning here. A lot of lightning. A lot of areas getting pounded with severe weather uh, right now from, you know, Texas all the way up through Tennessee, Missouri. Uh, yeah, they're all getting pounded by this severe weather uh, that we have going on. Uh, power outage situation. Normally, I do a brief weather update on Thursday, but because we're doing have all this activity going on, there are some power outages from these storms, I see. Ohio, some areas have gotten hit pretty hard. Not surprisingly, with all the severe weather, you're going to have power outages. That's not a surprise at all. Uh, so, now that we've looked at all that, let's go look at the models. And uh, actually, I want to just go to the satellite and just visualize this for a little bit here. So let's go 
over here. And then look at that. Yeah, you can really get a good view of this. All that convection firing up here. You can see that Pacific is definitely still influencing this as well. Um, make this a 48-hour loop so you can go right there. Daylight. Really impressive. Uh, real impressive burst there. If we go to GLM flash intensity, which will show all the lightning going on. Um, you can see quite a bit of lightning. Look at all that. Wow. That's that's very, very impressive. That's really, really impressive. Uh, so I want to go also to the MODIS satellite um, because yeah, I noticed a little bit of haze today in the air. Um, I'm sure you noticed it as well. It may just be from controlled burns going on in the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Yeah, there's one right there. So it's doing controlled burns. So that's probably where we're seeing some of the smoke from those wildfires that uh, are, well, they're not wildfires, they're controlled fires, uh, but that's what they do in the Pine Barrens. They have controlled fires. Right? You can actually see a bunch of cumulus popping up over the Pine Barrens, too, because it gets very hot in the Pine Barrens there during the day, too, so that's not a surprise. So I did notice a, lot, a bit of that haze I saw in the afternoon here in Mineola. It was low 70s. It was kind of, I got on that train. It took me to Babylon, and it was so much better in Babylon with a light sea breeze, and the uh, sky's still kind of hazy, but uh, a little bit less hazy. But a nice a nice breeze nonetheless. Much better conditions there uh, than here in Mineola, of course. Uh, and then toward the nighttime in Rockville Center, nice, still a nice cool breeze along the water. Uh, very nice. Um, and the uh, moon is out, but can't really. The moon and the Jupiter aren't. We got that a lot of cirrus, so you can't really see that, that moon illumination. Uh, hopefully, again, you got a chance to see that last night. Um, and um, even saw a great blue heron there in the water there, just fishing, and they stand perfectly still. It's pretty amazing to look at. Uh, so anyway, let's get into the forecast now. Uh, so we'll cover the weather through tomorrow and to Saturday. Uh, so this low pressure kind of goes, but you can see the precipitation just dries up. Uh, so we're not really going to see too much precipitation. And then Saturday should be a, n a nice day. Uh, and like I said, I'll talk more about the weekend tomorrow night. Uh, let's look at the HRRR model first and look at the zero Z run of the HRRR. Um, so uh, here's that. Uh, and you can see HRRR a little more aggressive with the shower activity uh, than the NAM. Because look at the NAM. Well, maybe the new NAM is a little wetter. But you see there's a couple of showers in the morning and then literally barely anything. There's a few in the afternoon and maybe even a chance of a, a slight chance of a thunderstorm. Nothing severe, uh, but it's going to be very widely scattered activity and probably won't amount to all that much. Um, and this, like I said, we'll talk about that on the weekend. That's the cold, the, a stronger cold front that's going to come through on Sunday. Uh, but let's uh, look at the total cumulative precip and see it's not going to be very much. Probably less than a tenth of an inch uh, for most areas, so it really won't, it won't bring a whole lot of rain. Uh, let's look at the dew points and wind flow uh, here because... You'll see as we head into tomorrow, we have a southwest to west-southwest wind. It's going to be another very warm day. You can see, look at that uh, dew point. The dew points come up, but then they drop as we get toward the evening. The wind shift to the northwest. That's the first front coming through. Uh, and then for your Saturday, we start off with the northwest wind turning to the south as a sea as that high moves to the, uh, as the as we have the next cold front coming through, which is going to pull up some warmer air out of it, and we'll shift the winds to the south. Uh, temperatures, um, it's going to be another warm day tomorrow night, probably dropping to the 40s on Long Island, maybe some mid to upper 40s on Long Island, around 50 in New Jersey. It could be colder than that, though. And then tomorrow, another really warm day. I think a lot of spots will get close to 70 again. Uh, upper 65 to 70 pretty much, maybe a little bit warmer, though we will have a lot more clouds around, uh, but still a lot of warmth. And then as we get toward tomorrow night, we start dropping from the 50s, and then by Saturday morning, we're down into the upper 30s to around 40. And then for Saturday, will be a cooler day with temperatures generally in the low to mid 50s, especially cooler on Long Island. Um, and we should have, again, we'll talk about the skies on Saturday. It should be sunshine, although some of the models don't necessarily agree on how much we're going to see. Uh, there may be some clouds that will pop up, but... Um, I'll talk about more that more tomorrow night when we have better model data right now. It's just too early to tell, but it should be a nice day. The good news is it won't be raining. That's the good news. Uh, let's look at the NAM3 uh, as far as, see, we don't have enough of that in. That's just the issue when you have daylight savings. Uh, so 
Look at the radar simulation on the NAM 3. Actually, we do have enough of an inch show tomorrow. So you can see NAM's being very even less with the precipitation, not showing anything. It has it all going to the south. So there's a slight chance of a shower, but I think a lot most most of us probably won't see anything as far as the rain for tomorrow goes. Uh, but we will see be seeing uh, plenty of more clouds around. So I'll go to the RGM next, and we'll use the RGM sky cover map here. Um, so uh, you will see uh, clouds, though. Again, it won't it won't be completely cloudy. There'll still be some sun, possibly in the afternoon, a little bit, a little bit of sun. And then as we get towards Saturday, again, it's showing mostly sunny skies. So it looks like a nice day on Saturday. So I guess that's going to wrap up this Long Island weather update. One more really warm day tomorrow, and then we finally get back into some more normal conditions for March. But as far as any bitter cold goes, I think we're I don't know if we're going to see any more. Uh, winter's done. Spring is here, but it will. It feels today felt a little more like um, late May uh, than uh, even some of the the cherry blossoms are blooming way early, like a month early, uh, especially inland. So it's crazy. It's crazy. So this is this crazy warmth. Maybe we'll have the warmest March on record. Uh, certainly close to it. That's for sure. But anyway, have a good night.